Hi, my name is Alan Porter, and I'm the owner of Strategic Wealth Strategies. I'm also a certified financial fiduciary, and I'm calling this presentation More Problems with the 401k. Now, I have a question for you. With all the talk of the new highs of the stock market, people think that they are doing very well. But as is always, everything the government telling you is telling you is not the whole truth. When accounting for inflation, that growth is only 6%. Now, the M2 money supply, that is the money that is loaned to business to produce products, is at recession and depression levels. Now, there's also a $1.5 trillion wall of debt that is looming for U.S. commercial properties. Remember the mortgage crisis in 2008 and what that did to the market? And remember, if you have a 50% loss in the market, it takes a 100% gain just to get back to even, and that doesn't even include the fees that you had paid, whether you made money or not. Do you know the approximate current value of your 401k or IRA? If so, I want you to write that total down now. But here's the big question. Do you think all that money belongs to you? Well, I tell you, it doesn't. And when, what people find out most surprisingly is how little of your retirement account values actually do belong to you. There's four reasons. And these four reasons are you may not be fully vested. Number one, most people don't think about this. But until you're fully vested with your company, if you lose your job or switch companies, you usually won't get some or all of your employees match. And you'll forfeit some or all returns that you've had on the match. Now, nearly half of all companies use a graded vesting schedule. These plans slowly vest, give you ownership of more of your match with every year of service until you hit 100%, which usually takes five to six years. For example, let's assume your employee contributed $100 to your match. The returns were $10 and you invested, you were invested 20%. If you lose your job or switch jobs, you only get to keep 20% of the match in return. In this case, you'd only get $22 instead of the $110 that you thought you had. And here's an interesting fact. You're typically not 100% invested for five to six years. But according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average time people stay on a job is only 4.1 years. And oh, 50% of 401ks have cliff vesting schedules, which require you to stay with an employer for a minimum number of years or you don't get to keep any of the match. Reason number two, deferred taxes can devour one third or more of your 401k or IRA account. Now, this is according to Boston's College for Retirement Research. It's a very big deal when people realize that they only have two thirds or three quarters of what they thought they had in their tax deferred retirement account. And that is based on today's tax rates. But with the national debt exploding, thanks to Congress that spends like a drunken sailor piled on top of the aging population, what direction do you think taxes will go over the long term? Now, there's no other direction except go up. And when they do that, IRS could easily take 50% of your retirement withdrawals. Now, number three, the numbers in your 401k and IRA statement are only paper wealth. This means that unlike real wealth, it's entirely possible that the value of your account could end up plummeting by 50% or more. Just as what happened in the last two market crashes we've experienced just since the year 2000. Have you accounted for that? And number four, people don't realize this, management fees will adversely affect the amount of money that you have in a retirement account. A 1% fee over a 30 year period will reduce your income by one third. And the average fee for a 401k across America is 2.99%. People are gonna have less than half of their money when they go to retire just because of fees alone. Now, we've all been fed propaganda by Wall Street and these fee-based management companies that the 401k is your best retirement vehicle. Now, let me tell you, it's time to think outside the box of conventional financial planning. The solution is to hold at least a portion of your retirement sa savings outside of a 401k or IRA and financial vehicles that are in a class of their own, you know, it, becoming possibly tax-free, having a higher distribution rate. Very important, mitigating or eliminating the risk in retirement that a stock portfolio, a savings account, real estate, or bonds only compound. Now, if you'd like to learn more, you can call me at 910-551-1046 or email me at strategicwealth, the number zero at gmail.com. And my website is strategicwealthstrategies.com. I look forward to hearing from you. I wanna thank you for watching this short video.